So today I'll be discussing about Compton effect or also known as Compton shift. See, yes, I'm not going to write in full form, so it's to save time. All right, so Compton effect deals with the interaction of photon and an electron. What happens is that there is an incident photon and there is an electron which is at rest. And what happens is that we get a scattered photon and a recoiled electron. Now, why does this happen? Because photon has energy and electron is at rest and electron at rest has an energy m0 into c to the power 2 which is rest mass energy and m0 is the mass of electron and c is the speed of light. So these two particles now I am saying photon which means I'm considering the particle nature of light so these two particles interact and this is what happens. Uh, there is a scattered photon going at an angle theta with the reference line and there's a recoiled electron Re going at an angle phi with the reference line. Now what happens is that we calculate the shift in the wavelength delta lambda equals to lambda minus lambda dash. Now what is lambda? Lambda is the wavelength of incident photon, this one here. And lambda dash is the wavelength of scattered photon. So this is what we calculate. Now let's do it. Now we calculate delta lambda with the help of conservation of energy and with the help of conservation of momentum. So first of all let's write the equation of conservation conservation of energy COE. So the initial energy initial energy initial energy of system can be written as energy of photon plus energy of electron which can be written as energy of photon is given by H nu and energy of electron is given by M naught C squared alright so this is the initial energy EP plus EE now I'm gonna write the final energy of the system uh, let me change the color. Yes, uh, wait a second. Yeah. So the final energy, the final energy of system, the final energy of system can be written as energy of scattered photon plus energy of recoiled electron. Now the energy of uh, scattered photon is equal to h nu dash. Now when I write nu dash, I mean that the frequency of scattered photon is different from the frequency of uh, incident photon and I think that is understood <coughs> sorry so uh, yeah and uh, the electron uh, the energy of a recoiled electron is given by now this is important under root of p squared c squared plus m naught c squared to the power of 2 now p here is the momentum momentum of recoiled electron. Now keep in mind this is the momentum of recoiled electron not the electron but recoiled electron because initially the electron has no momentum alright initially the electron is at rest electron is at rest and has an energy m0 c squared alright so now equating both the equations what we get well we get E uh, I'm sorry we get uh, E initial equals to E final. This is E final and this is E initial. Alright, so let me write that. H nu plus M naught C squared is equal to H nu dash plus under root of P square C square plus M naught square C to the power of 4. This here is the expression for conservation of energy in Compton effect. This here is the expression for that.